Welcome to DCT, guys. I'm coming back, and uh, I'm Rabbit. This is DJ Chocolate Thunder. And uh, sorry, we've been kind of on a hiatus. We're trying new things, and we're getting stuff out there to do uh, do more things, which we're going to talk to you about on this episode mainly. Uh, we're not going to do anything about zombies uh, in particular. It's just stuff that we're going to do in the future. Like, uh, we're going to try and start making uh, merchandise. And do a little bit of t-shirts and whatnot. And uh, uh, we're going to change our surroundings, too. Uh, as you can see, we're talking in, in the kitchen this time. Not too big of a surrounding, but yeah, it's changed. Good. A little bit uh, of switch up. Um, but, like, upcoming events, like, uh, uh, we are going to go to a bar, and they do uh, Walking Dead Sunday, and we're going to spend a, a Sunday there before the season ends. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got three episodes left, and we'll talk about that later. That's three. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do stuff like that, and uh, hopefully try to get some more skits on. Um, this weekend, we're actually going out to DJ's uh, friends at, from work, and uh, we're going to do a little gun segment. <laughs> and just shoot off a bunch of different guns and decipher which one would be best for the big ZA. Yes, sir. Uh, we will also hitch up uh, for this Saturday. Uh, we're going to gonna do some clips from uh, Pub Crawl. So, happy St. Patty's Day early, you know. And uh, I'm just going to throw it over to DJ. And he's wanting to talk about the weapon of the week. I got a, baby. I got a real good surprise for y'all. The weapon of the week. I call it the 22 Elite. I'm going to pick it up for y'all. Give you a real good view, baby. This is a 22 rifle, but it's an AR-15 style 22 rifle. And this is actually, factually, uh, the deadliest weapon that a civilian can have because it's so accurate. This particular rifle is just a composite version, so I think the range on this one goes up to... Um, Either 150 feet or 150 yards for 200 yards. You can get the you can get the performance version, and that can go up to 250 yards with the right scope. But like I said, if you can't kill a bunch of zombies within 150 to 200 yards with this, then you need help. But like I said, this AR-15 style, this is all stock for right now. I'm actually show you. It got the uh, I got a 25 round magazine. That goes with it. Always keep it on safety. Safety first with guns, cause they ain't no, they ain't no toys, y'all. And no time for ignorance. In the yeah, GTA. yeah, no time for none of that. But like I said, uh, I'm actually looking to replace this. This is just a stock um, sight that comes on it. I'm gonna replace this with a short scope that has it probably go up to like 200 yards, and then I'm gonna put a foregrip on this so I don't have to hold the rail when I shoot it. That'd be pretty good. It'd be stable or good. Yeah, a lot more. And also, I got the you got the adjustable sight, so you can like put it in rifle mode, or you can keep it close to you. You know, in tight situations, and pull it up real quick. Whatever you need to do. Like I said, it's an AR-15 style 22, baby. It's a beautiful gun. This is my baby right here. Anybody want to come out and shoot it with us? You buy bullets. I'll shoot them. I might let you shoot it a couple times too. But uh. <laughs> But like I said, this is a really accurate rifle, man. Like, it's really fun to shoot, too. And a lot of people say 22s is like little kid guns. In a zombie apocalypse, you pay $25 for 320 rounds, or you find a box of rounds for a 22, and you set for a good amount of zombie killing, y'all. Like I said, an AR-15 style 22 is actually called the it's Smith & Wesson, which is top of the line for those of you who don't know guns. It's, Top of the line for guns. This is Smith & Wesson M&P 22, uh, 15 22. Uh, it ran me about after tax and I bought some bullets with it that cost about 25 bucks. But uh, after all that was said and done, the gun was uh, only 587. Oh, but they're so rare, it act they actually jumped it up. It was only supposed to be about 500 bucks even, but they actually jumped it up a full hundred dollars. Like, but well worth it, man. Well worth it. For the amount of ammo that you get for this gun, and the amount of zombies you can kill accurately, well worth it. I'll just slip off there a little bit. Damage it or anything. I'm just not. Uh, yeah, uh, very good weapon. I can't wait to taste, taste the testing of it too. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully, I'm, I'll probably pull out my uh, my uh, little bow and arrow 
show you how that will go. That will probably be my weapon of the week next week, just, just saying. But, uh, yeah. And also next week we're going to have a clips of us shooting. I think we're going to make a – we might have to make it a little bit of a longer episode. Or we might – we might, I don't know, it depends. Okay. We'll have to talk about it, but uh, we might do like previews of it and then just mm -hmm. go ahead and upload the other half and just be like the fun at the range kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, just put another okay. video on our channel. But uh, yeah, like you said, that was the weapon of the week, the Smith & Wesson MP 1522. So if you don't have one and you're trying to survive zombies, you might need to get one. Yeah. You might, you just might need to. It might be a little bit useful, you know. And also, one more thing I'm going to say about this, if y'all Walking Dead, if y'all notice, the AR-15 was actually in the background of the Walking Dead whenever Morgan was tied up, sitting there against the gun rack, and Rick was talking to him, just letting you know. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, it was in the background. That's cool. Well, speaking of Walking Dead, we're just going to go ahead and, you know, go straight into that one. Um, since we've been, you know, out for, out of commission for a bit. Uh, we're just going to talk about Walking Dead, and uh, since it's only got three episodes left, I mean, oh, man. It's, it's it's sad to see it come so soon, but... Uh, we just got it back. Yeah, we just got it back. It feels like it just came back, back on like last week. If y'all ain't been recording the episodes on your DVR, then I don't know what you're going to do in between seasons. Gonna have to wait for that DVD to come out when the next season yeah. starts. And me, nigga like me got the DVR, so I got them all recorded. <laughs> we good over here. But yeah, um... Last week we didn't really talk too much about the episode. Um, oh, and uh, as as uh, as for the poll, we're just gonna go ahead and do uh, zombie kill of the week every week, and we'll just go on to like a five minute talk about that. And I like Ducky's idea about the fuck Andrea. I mean, we were already gonna plan on yeah, doing that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's all DJ's uh, little segment oh, right yeah. there. He, Give me the reins on that. I'll try to get in the ground. Yeah, which will you know if you want to go ahead and. Talk about it right now. We can talk about last week's episode. Oh, I got you. Uh, the fuck Andrea segment. You want me to do fuck Andrea segment or talk about last week's episode? Oh, I misunderstood you. Well, we'll say the fuck Andrea segment. Yeah, I'm um, gonna play because I gotta, I gotta put the the post up, the shiny picture too. We can just cut that part out. Yeah. Okay. Well. Last week's Walking Dead, and, and just in case y'all don't know, we usually do it before Walking Dead, but we've been slacking a lot, trying to get used to differing schedules and being tired and sick, getting over sick and being all, and all that BS. But uh, today is actually Monday, so we're gonna talk about the new episode. But as far as last week, uh, we we actually, you know, I want to get props to my man Rabbit over here. He actually called that that was gonna be Morgan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he actually called it that was going to be Morgan that Rick found. Been but, uh, for it. I fucking loved, man, especially about that week's episode. The first thing I loved was Carl, Michonne, and Rick, which, if y'all don't know, is my top three characters. I mean, it's a close tie between Rick and Daryl for the third. But, you know, since they were the only ones mainly in that episode, I'm going to go ahead and put him up there for number three. But uh, I really love that they went on a run together. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for Carl to go on a run. Yeah. I've been waiting for Michonne to go on a run. And if y'all remember, I even said I need verbal confirmation that Michonne is part of the group because I called that shit at the end of season two, and it happened. Or at the end of at the end yeah, of season one. The, the end of. Uh, well, it was the, the it was the middle whenever it Michonne was the, stayed it was there. The, 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 the mid season finale. Yeah, the mid season finale. I called that shit. So she finally joined a group, which I love, but Morgan's fucking booby trap ideas were fucking ingenious. Amazing. That Amazing. blew my mind. Somebody that, that's gone that off the deep end, I, kudos, man. That was amazing. I would never have, have thought of setting up traps yeah. like that. With they just walk into. With, and, uh, you know, live animals in the middle of yes, fucking sir. barrels. That like, that's, fucking, that's amazing. That was fucking ingenious. And also the welcome mat thing was, <laughs> that was pretty slick, too. Man, I would hate to be a, just a, some survivor stumble upon that one. Ugh. Yeah. But I would, I would really love his, uh, the animal idea. Like, I'm like, why couldn't I think of that? Is what I thought when I saw that. Because it's so fucking simple, but it's so fucking effective. Because they can't get to him. And they're fucking distracted. So for all you zombie fans out there, whenever it do go down, you can get some animals in the cage. If you got some animals, I don't care if you love them or not. Put them in a the cage. Do something. I want to do pineapple like that. Not pineapple. <laughs> she's too big to get in the cage. Yeah. 
badass. You know, but I thought that was a fucking amazing idea. Did you see fucking Morgan's arsenal was incredible? He has so many fucking guns. It wasn't even funny. I uh, yeah, he he Rick's right. He he's been busy. I yeah. Mean, definitely. I mean, and also another thing about that that I liked about the whole thing is like Michonne joining the group, I believe, was like a real a good you know, it was a good you know, no little foreshadowing is a fucking major I think that was a major turning point in, in the um in the episode, especially with Rick's, uh, you know, uh, attitude towards trust new, nobody newcomers, Expe like especially within the last ep like last uh, last night's episode when Herschel mm -hmm. said that uh, you know Michonne's proved her worth and and she has she has and especially with the whole her and Carl running off and, and when Carl was like I'm gonna do a run Rick trusting him to go uh, Michonne to go with him and you know, just as a you know, yep. keep an eye on him kind of thing. Yep. Oh, I like that. I like that idea a lot. I, I mean, the, the whole situation. And we also, since Michonne is like the only person to kill zombies in the episode, really, we gonna give. She got the zombie kill. She got the zombie kills of the week. Uh, her her best one was the, the backward stab into the zombie's face. And that blindsided him. Just pretty like, badass. Stab, like he, I don't even think. Stab. I don't even think he knew it was coming. Yeah. Honestly. Well, he did have his mouth open. So. Yeah. So he might have been waiting for it. <laughs> you never know. Uh, ah. And as far as the newest episode that came on, I thought it was, I, I'm, I love that the governor and Rick finally met and actually talked. The governor, he's a head case, man. He, he tried to fuck with old man, Rick. The car salesman coming out. Yeah, he, he tried to fuck with old Rick. And, 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 you, and, and you kind of think he got to him, but it might, I think it, it more showed Rick like how dangerous he was. Yeah. I mean, because Rick can read people too. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a fucking sheriff. Yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, it, it showed uh, it showed him how like how dangerous the governor was, which is why he was just straight up to the group like, we we got to go to war. And I love it. How, and I love that he said that too. I, I just love how Rick was just not backing down. He wasn't being a bitch at all. Oh yeah. He even he even called him out too. He said you're yeah you're not the governor. You're the town drunk and you. Nah, you, that shit was you funny. In my yard. You he said, in my that's yard it. And fucked uh, up my garden. That shit was funny. I was like, damn, that was that was ah. Oh. Cheers to that one, Rick. Yeah, you got him on that one. Got him. That was fucking good, but uh, um, I mean, mainly that's all it was. What really pissed me off about that episode, Herschel never invite Andrew back into the group. We all fucking hate her. Oh. Uh, do not let her come back, I'll Walking walk Dead. Do not let her come back into the group. I'm begging you, right now, Walking Dead. Please don't let her come back into the group, man. No, nah, she's probably gonna start her own group up with Tyrese and them, cause and seeing that little spoiler. Dude, little she's she's, Maybe. she's a weak bitch. She's probably gonna try to join the group again she, and try to fuck Rick. She's she is a strong combative, but really weak minded. Like, she can hold her own, but that's because she's been through a bunch of shit, and of course she shot the zombie point blank, so she became an EV badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't forget that read one. On. Um, uh, I, I thought it was kind of funny how uh, how uh, the opposing teams during the meeting were becoming uh, quite chummy. Yeah. I mean, that might have been a little foreshadowing. Maybe more than, maybe the governor has something else to worry about other than Rick. Hey. Maybe uh, people turning around and mm -hmm. stabbing him in the back. Mm -hmm. Like Milton. I'm watching Milton. Cause mm -hmm. I know he ain't going to be a bitch forever. Mm, he'll yeah, be a bitch gonna, forever. But... He, he's either going to die or going to die with some kind of dignity against the I governor. think he'll be a bitch forever, but he'll just be a bitch to where he's like, he should, he'll betray the governor like a bitch. Yeah. He'll do like the really cowardly, underhanded betrayal. Yeah. Of the that's that's what I was getting at. Okay. Kind of at that point. And, uh, you know, Daryl and, uh, oh, one dude. I oh, can't, Mexican man or whatever the fuck. I can't remember the, the, the Cursa Locos. I was really surprised <laughs> that Daryl didn't give him a racist joke. Yeah. Whenever they were sitting there. I was waiting for it the whole time. I mean, he's not, he's not like Merle. Merle was just, Merle just spit it off at you. Yeah. And speaking of Merle, what, what about that bout with uh, Captain Glenn there? Hey, man, I, I like <laughs> that. Because Glenn showed his balls. Like, he wasn't scared of him. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like it, too. Yeah, uh... Oh. Didn't like what happened afterwards. He, he took off his post and decided to have a little freaky deaky time. Yeah, I thought, I thought that was pretty. Daughter. I thought that was pretty stupid. I, I was waiting for a zombie to curl in and start ripping. I, I didn't care for that part, but whatever, you know, whatever. They gotta throw that in there. But uh, also, while we speaking on this, uh, 
our man Daryl. We had a little contest. You know, first we thought it was a Mexican dude who was going to get zombie kill of the week with the baseball bat. Very close second. But, but if then... You don't, if you don't remember that, that scene where they were just kind of like testing each other, like, why don't you go ahead, bitch? And then, of course, the actual bitch did go ahead, which was Andrew. And yeah. uh, then he showed uh, Daryl up. It was like kind of a... Yeah, it was back and forth. Yeah, and that, that, that kill, I mean, against the, the, the building, that was... That was epic, especially when he turned around and was like, kind of like, hey, hey. But, Yeah, and then Daryl came back and uh, shot them. Well, actually, there was another kill that took place before Daryl did his, but the one that we're talking about is when he shot the zombie through the fucking eye and it stuck in the other one's neck. And then Dude was like, oh, well, you can't finish the job and he was about to kill it. And you see Daryl in the background with a big ass knife and he just, whack, threw that bitch right in his fucking face. Before then, he could even. And, even and, and then they kind of looked at each other and was like, that was badass. Like, what's up? Yeah, and then Daryl was like, mm hmm, I know. <laughs> I, I like that what, part. What, what really got him chummy was sharing cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, like he, he didn't open up until the nigga got some nicotine in him. But man, I, 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 said it, I said it when we were watching the episode, and I'll say it again. Those must be some stale fucking ass cigarettes. Yeah. Hey, walking on a, a, on, a, on a fucking zombie that's been walking around. Yeah, I ain't know someone was been on them damn cigarettes, man. It rain and. All the winter and all that shit. Oh man, that must be horrible. <laughs> but I mean, I guess teach their own. <laughs> I'm do what you gotta do, man. But uh, okay, uh, since uh, we already got them zombie kills out of the week, and we're talking about the you know the new episode and everything. Uh, next week's episode is gonna look pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. Uh, I mean, especially with a little spoiler that they did at the end of the. Uh, episode. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Walkingdead.com mm -hmm. or AMC.com slash walkingdead. Check it out. Uh, and I guess we're going to go into your uh, rant and rave. About Andrea? Uh, the, the fuck Andrea's. Oh, we going to do it every week? Oh, why not? Okay, okay. she always fucks up. Bet. Some way or another. I got you. <laughs> first thing, first, oh, first, 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 first is foremost. Hold on, let me take this out. I'm going to brighten nervous with my gun, yeah. I haven't been shot and I don't want to be. Uh, first and foremost, I didn't like how she got so offended because they wanted her out. Maybe she feels like she has a big enough dick to where she can be in the man conversation when they're having their little back and forth. But, I mean, no matter how big your dick is, Andrea, put it back in your pants and get the fuck out of it. We, we don't want you. But I didn't like how she took offense to that. Like, bitch, both sides don't already, don't, already don't like you. Governor don't even like you. He just used it. Pussy. <laughs> yeah. speaking, of, speaking of pussy, look who's behind me. But, uh. Mm, running in and out of the camera. Yeah, but, uh, like I said, the governor don't even like the bitch. The bitch needs to go. I hate her. If y'all uh, if y'all hate Andrea, please show your support. Please comment. Be like, I hate this bitch. I know Ducky has already. Yes. She wants to do a whole segment of it. That's why we're going to throw it in. Five minute segment of. DJ Chocolate Thunder going on a rant and rave about how he hates Andrea. And then, and, and then, with real, like I said before, what really pissed me off is fucking her, is fucking Herschel inviting her back to the group talking about you're one of us. And then, did you see the bitch? The bitch went right back in the car with the governor like a weak ass little fucking wounded animal. The bitch needs to die. She's a liability. I don't like her. I don't care for her. Her face is ugly. Her hair is ugly. The bitch is ratchet. <laughs> Get her the fuck out of here, please, Walking Dead. This is the entree. This is DJ Chocolate Thunder getting on his knees, begging you, please get rid of Andrea. Cause she's please, like, she, oh Jesus. Please, cause she's like a disease. Oh, it's been some games. Please go, Andrea. Well, that's how she didn't really have that much to say in the episode, but that's all I got to say about those. Movies. I just hated how she had the, the fact that she was all like, I thought this was supposed to be some kind of peace talk. And it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, you put two strong heads against each dude, other. Dude, you know Rick, and you know fucking, you damn well know how the governor is. How the fuck did you think it was going to be peaceful? Well, she doesn't really know how the governor is because the governor just talks to her and fucks with her mind. She knows how the governor so is when he, when he came outside and just shot dude in the fucking head and walked off. Well, yeah, she needs to go. She's causing more problems than what is worth. For real. I mean, she didn't really start him off as that problem. But she's definitely agging it on, and mm -hmm. she doesn't even realize it. Or maybe she does, but I don't know. She's just you know, it, it got to the point to where Rick and, and 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 the governor are like, okay, fuck the middleman, which is her. Fuck this bitch. Like, let's go at each other. Like yeah. that's basically what she's brought it to. Just fuck it. Giving fucking people information about motherfuckers. Fucking telling the governor all about Rick and shit. The back and forth high school shit. 
Fuck off, Andrea. Get out of there. Get That's out. That's what you should put up there. Fuck off, Andrea. Okay, we'll call that the fuck off, Andrea segment from now on. Damn right. And uh, it'll be hosted by DJ Chuckle Thunder. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I mean, it, it was a pretty quick episode, but uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, next week's episode is going to be a lot longer. We're going to be doing some other stuff. Mm -hmm. And you get to see some uh, St. Patty Day clips that uh, I, I think I'm going to call it segment uh, Us Drunks in Public. You know, uh, hopefully one of us doesn't get arrested. I mean, none of us. <laughs> I'll make sure. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I, I haven't been arrested uh, out of the four pub crawls that I've already been to. We'll so. be all right, man. Yeah. We know how to hold our own. Everybody else has. Well, at least I do. But uh, I guess that's going to be it. Uh, to Rice, uh, Rice Man, uh, Sorry about all the stuff's going on. He had uh, his surgery just keeps on messing up. The uh, the spinal is uh, it's he has fluid leaking now, and uh, he has to go and redo surgery. And uh, keep you updated on that. And uh, always just go to you know conquerkiari dot uh, dot org and just show your support. We appreciate it. And uh, I'm pretty sure he does, and everybody else that does have uh, Kiari. And uh, just kind of give you a shout out, man. And just hope things get better. And since we're doing this whole, like, you know, different scenery things, hopefully we'll come over to your house and do it, do it with you. Hell yeah, man. And I, I mean, I think it'd be awesome. Yeah. And um, I guess, uh, you know, check us out on uh, Facebook, uh, uh, .com slash Drunk Zombie Talk, uh, YouTube, uh, .com slash Drunk Zombie Talk. Two bit. Just two bit. Just two bit with the 22 Lee. And don't act like a fooly. Uh -oh. oh, that's my that's my two liner. I, I can only do two lines. <laughs> and, and get straight down to yeah, and I start talking about cookies and apple juice or something. Right. <laughs> Leave it at two lines. We'll be good. Yeah, and uh, as always, just subscribe. Yeah, please do, y'all. Just give a give a little subscribe, and uh, I guess that's it. Uh, I'm gonna sign out, and I'm Rabbit. And you just want the thunder coming to plunder. Uh, as always, and uh, we'll catch you guys next week.